Hey guys, welcome back to Tech Talk. I'm Alex Levy, the warranty specialist here at Sports and Boats. And today we are talking about the Seastar digital switching system that is standard on all of our 26 foot and above models here at Sportsman. So the first thing you wanna do is find your home icon, which is here in the middle, select it, go to vessel, scroll till you see the digital switching icon and select it. And this will bring up your digital switching, which controls all the digital switching components on the boat. You control anything from your hardtop lights to your live wells to your bilge pumps. We'll go ahead and select the hardtop lights here and you'll see them cut on. You can also select them off right there. So some switches have multi-touch capabilities, such as your nav anchor light switch right here. You can tap one time to cut all the lights on. Then if you were mooring, you can cut it again to leave just your anchor light on. And then a third time will cut the entire system off. So another cool feature of the digital switching system is it comes with this custom sportsman remote that controls your basic functions like your hard top and spreader lights and your fresh and raw water pumps. Also has a power button for your Garmin MFDs that you can cut them on from 150 feet away from the dock. Good for those early morning runs. Now let's step down into the console to take a look at a safety feature that comes standard on the Seastar digital switching. Okay, here in the console, we've opened up the panel doors and you have your DCM from Seastar fuse panel. This gives you access to all the fuses that control the digital switching. In the event of emergency or technical glitch and you can't access your screens, you can come inside the console, open up the panel doors and access the DCM here, which gives you uh, access to all the fuses that control every function on the DCM. And you pull down the little plastic screen like this. And then let's say you're having an issue with your forward spreader lights and you can't access them on your Garmin screens. You simply remove the fuse, plug it back in, and now your forward spreader lights will be working on the boat. And you can do that with any system that's on the digital switching screen. The redundancy of the digital switching system is a great safety feature to have on board the boat. If you guys have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you out on the water.